Now, ankle tags are something you may have heard of. They used to ensure offenders stick to curfews set as part of their sentence, perhaps to stop them going out late at night or travelling to a particular area. But this is an ankle tag with a difference. This is a sobriety ankle tag. And new legislation means that criminals who commit alcohol-related offences may be forced to wear one. Amit Sethi is from the company that have been working in conjunction with the Ministry of Justice to develop these new tags. Amit, thanks so much for joining Hi. us. So how do they work? So the tag is essentially a breathalyzer for the ankle. Um, it's secured directly to the ankle itself. And when we consume alcohol, a small percentage is released uh, through our sweat. The bracelet will take a controlled sample of that perspiration and then anal analyze it for the presence of alcohol. This process takes place every 30 minutes, 24 hours a day. So just how sensitive is the sensor in that tag? So the tag is designed to be very sensitive and could detect as little as two units of alcohol, for instance, a pint of lager or a glass of wine. Uh, but taking that one step further, perhaps, uh, the tag, we, we can also detect uh, consumed alcohol uh, and, again, and differentiate it from uh, alcohol that's placed on the skin itself, mm -hmm. for instance, hand sanitizer or um, perfumes. And it's also got the technology to detect if someone might be trying to block the reading, for example, or, or remove it. Absolutely right. So uh, the tag contains what we may term as anti-circumvention technology. So it can detect if someone tries to block a reading from being taken, or alternatively, if someone tries to remove the tag itself. So it's extremely difficult to trick. Yeah, and I mean, some people might argue that this is all a bit big brother, it's interfering with people's private lives. What would you say to that? Uh, absolutely not. Um, the, the people that are subject to monitoring via the tag itself can continue with their daily lives uh, as they would otherwise. So they can wake up in the morning and take a shower, go to the gym, go to work. This doesn't interfere with their lives in that way. What they shouldn't do is drink alcohol while subject to monitoring. Really interesting, Amit. Thank you very Thank you. much. And if I just head over here, Becky Bailey works for a company which provides probation and rehabilitation services on behalf of the Ministry of Justice and manage the pilot project around the use of these tags. So just tell us, Becky, who's likely to be given these tags to wear? So offenders sentenced by the courts to an alcohol abstinence monitoring requirement will have to wear one of these tags for up to 120 days and that's where their offence was linked to their use of alcohol. So for example somebody could have committed an assault while they were in drink. It's estimated that up to 39% of violent crime is linked to alcohol use. So this offers us a way to help reduce the risk of re-offending and also protect the public. And if someone fails to comply with the order they could be returned to the court for a further sanction. This isn't just about the punishment of offenders, is it? No, it's really about helping people to identify the root causes of their behaviour and with support of their probation officer, help them to develop skills to manage their alcohol use once the tag is removed. We've had two pilots today, both of which have been really successful. So one was in Humberside, Lincolnshire and North Yorkshire and the other was in London. And in both of those pilots, over 90% of those people sentenced to wear a tag completed that requirement successfully. And they also reported positive changes in relation to their lives, their health and their behaviour. So this can really help us in terms of rehabilitation for those who've committed alcohol-related crime. So when will we see offenders wearing these tags going forward? So this is due to launch in Wales next month and it'll then roll out to the rest of England. It's hoped this will help to reduce the pressure on frontline services that's caused by alcohol related crime. It's a really good way for us to use technology to monitor people within the community and also help them to make positive changes to their behaviour. Becky, thank you so much. Thank you. Rav.